What's up guys, Jim here. Just getting a little bit of a different video today. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a few videos discussing different engines and because no matter how much manufacturers or anybody will tell you an engine is fantastic, it may be, but all of them will inevitably have some downsides or suffer with some problem. And some of the engines from different manufacturers will suffer with the same problems. They might not be the exact same engine or they may be the exact same engine because they share technologies. And any problems that uh, you may come across or common areas of concern on certain engines. Uh, today it's going to be the uh, PSA 1.2 PureTech engine uh, which is this one shown. It's quite um, common knowledge garage world that these engines although they are very good engines you know um, do suffer a little bit with timing belt disintegration uh, which can cause oil starvation and ultimately uh, destroy your engine if it's not uh, sorted out soon it's a fairly widespread problem uh, they know about it and basically your cam belt uh, starts to crack and break up a bit and the little fragments work their way around your sump and uh, block your oil strainer up uh, which in turn blocks the uh, oil pump making it not able to send the oil around the rest of the engine which can cause damage. Service intervals for their belts are only about 60,000 miles or six years uh, tech should be checking on every service the width there is a special tool to check the width of the belt and also just a visual check like on this one you can see it's cracked and I'm using this one as an example for you so this timing belt will need to be changed uh, at the ve very minimum uh, maybe the sump taking off to just make sure that it's not blocked the strainer now these engines can also um, be quite heavy on the oil consumption there is a tolerance allowed on the engines I believe it's something like 500 millilitres for every thousand miles is acceptable although don't quote me on that I'd have to just double check it and they can suffer with a little bit of carbon build up as well but most of these issues are you know due to fairly poor servicing uh, or poor oil qualities, incorrect oil qualities used, or th silly little things like uh, oil uh, flushes, I believe, don't suit the engine very well because it is a wet belt, you know, and the oil, uh, the oil flushes can dry them out because they're designed to get rid of the carbon from around your engine. Um, mostly, you shouldn't really run into problems with these should you service a vehicle with the correct stuff when needed along with the manufacturer's schedule uh, because engines can be expensive if you don't look after them properly um, and really I think that most cases of this the dealers will know about uh, that's it for today's uh, video guys I shall do other videos on other engines like this um, if you like them, leave a thumbs up for me please and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.